Hello everyone, Vito's A30 back again with another edition of What's On Deck, your weekly look at what's new and exciting in the world of playing cards. Uh, let's start off with Kickstarter. I actually got working audio today. I decided to try out my Ubuntu. It's been a while since I've been off Windows and oh, the audio works. <laughs> so let's see what's on Kickstarter. First of all, we got the Prism Day and Dusk from Elephant Playing Cards. It is now 100% funded. Eight days to go. That just happened because like an hour ago it was still 99% funded. But it is funded, finally. Uh, then we got Trump Cards. Boo. From Make Cards Great Again. They're funded nine days to go. I can't say I support this deck. Because, well, it's got Trump's face on it. And his name on it. And... It's got all these races that he despises on it as well. Next up, we got Rome playing cards, the Anthony and Caesar decks from Randy Butterfield Midnight Cards, funded, 19 days to go, I, uh, that one is one I do recommend checking out as well as the Prism. Uh, Bicycle Denim playing cards from Collectible Playing Cards, it is 90% funded, 14 days to go, uh, it's slowly getting there, just a matter of time, uh, again, check that one out. Bicycle Nocturnal from Collectible Playing Cards is funded, 3 days to go, another nice one. That I used to check out. Then there's a new Impressions deck from MPC Make Playing Cards. It's the Impressions Cardinal Edition. It is funded, 46 days to go. I don't know why they need such a long funding time, um, but it is what it is. The back, as you can see, here's the cards. The back design is the same as before with the trees on there, the tree back. Uh, it's black cards with a. With well, white on black on the back design the faces. They got red for the hearts and diamonds, of course. And white for the clubs and the spades. As you can see, the artwork has that glossy embossing texture on there, which is really cool. It does affect handling a little bit, but it's obviously very nice. They're obviously a lot more readable than like the, the Phantom and the um, other deck they did, uh, the, the last couple of decks they did, they were a little bit harder to read some of the additions. This one will be obviously easier to see. But, I mean, it's the same old, same old, basically. If you like it, check it out. Or if you haven't gotten it before, you might want to check them out. Looks like they got a nice deck set for a double deck set there. That's pretty cool. And the price is not bad. 16 bucks. it does include worldwide shipping for one deck, so that's not bad at all, I think. Next up, Code Deck from Variantal 25 is funded, 15 days to go. Then we got My Lucky Playing Cards by Andre Garneau. It's 16% funded, 18 days to go. This is from a fellow Canadian. Uh, kind of an interesting deck, a little bit weird. Um... Uh, 14 bucks each Canadian so that's like 10 bucks US or whatever the artwork um, a little bit cartoony and weird it looks like it was just I don't know I don't know if this is intentionally drawn like this or if it's just a lack of artistic ability but it looks kind of like it was drawn by a child <laughs> um, at the same time it is good if you're performing for kids and you want something that they can maybe relate to but not really doing it for me. And these aces, they look like they were bored from the NPC Impressions deck. But it is what it is. They're not, you know, horrible. The back design, I don't like it all. It's an alien back. It's just weird. <laughs> What's with those feet? I'm pretty sure aliens actually have some sort of feet. <laughs> but, um... It is what it is. <laughs> to be printed by USB-C, in case you're interested. Um, that is that. Next up, good curling playing cards from OMD Curling is funded 11 days to go. Pretty cool. Ugh. Um, then there's Pantheon playing cards from Fredway Industries, well funded, 14 hours to go, you should check that one out. 
Bicycle presidential portrait point guards from Anthony Dmitry Nikolov. 1% funded, 9 days to go. Not going to happen. The chances of this one funding are about uh, as good as the chances of Trump actually winning the election at this point in time. Um, <laughs> next, mid. Minimalist deck of point guards by Sam Wetola. 26% funded, 19 days to go. Not really my cup of tea. It's just plain faces with a number or a letter on them. Um, they didn't even have proper indexes until I pointed it out. They just had numbers of letters in the index, which makes them not usable, but they've corrected that. Birthstone Dragons by Jessica Feinberg. Well funded, three days to go. I got no issues with Fursi, obviously. Is a good artist and always delivers on the product. I just think that it'd be nice to see her step away from Dragons and do something different for a change. Uh, then we got Plain Color, which is the world's first color playing cards. It's 58% funded, 70 hours to go. Ugh. May or may not happen at this rate. Still time to fund. They're not looking for a huge amount of money. The biggest issue is how are these cards going to handle once you start coloring them in with marker or pencil crayon or whatever you might do. Looking for $3,300 Australian. They're at about $2,000, so just over almost 1500 bucks they need. I don't know if it's going to happen, but there's plenty of time. Next up, we got the 1876 Triplicate Dragon Playing Card Restoration Relaunch from Michael Scott. 54% funded, 10 days to go again. This one's going to be a close one. It is really nice, as you can see, the red and blue. Um, old school style. I'm not even sure that Dragonbacks were actually produced before uh, a few years ago when USBC decided to produce them, but hey. Let's restore a deck that was never actually produced. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's nice. I like it. They actually got triplicate faces, as you can see, which is pretty cool. Interesting Joker. Um, as a relaunch, previously they had a $30,000 goal, which was just not going to happen. And they had like six different versions, which is pretty ridiculous. Now they got like four different versions, two standards and two original release, which I guess means they did actually release them at some point in time. I don't, I don't know, I'm confused by that, because I, from what I recall, it was never actually produced. It's just something that USB-C found in their vault a few years ago, and they decided to produce them. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, obviously to be produced by USB-C because, well, trademark issues. <laughs> But um, I think that just it would be a lot better if they just did, you know, the one version, whether it's the original release or the other version, and just be done with it. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Looking for $10,000. They're at 5400 with 10 days to go. We'll see what happens. All right, next up, we got Titans Robber Baron Edison playing cards from Jody Eklund. <clears throat> well funded, 26 days to go. Uh, again, beautiful decks. I, I like Jody Eklund's stuff. I do recommend checking it out. I do hope that one day he will go back to just doing one or two decks on a project instead of three. Because it, it just it's getting a little bit ridiculous. If every time you're releasing three decks in one project, you know, it's, uh, it's expensive. But they're very beautiful cards, obviously, as usual. There is the standards black and blue, and then there is a signature series Kickstarter deck only, which is, well, kind of gray and gold, almost. <laughs> Very nice, though. Um, I really like the standard black color, the blue and the black. The blue one, it's similar, it's just a blue instead of black. Uh, it's not bad, as long as the color is turned out okay in the end. Very nice, beautiful tuck cases. Printed by Legends. The, uh... Of course, there's special boxes and whatnot that you can get, as you can see. The artwork, as you can see, is beautiful as usual.
with historical figures. That's something he specializes in, it would seem. Although, again, I would like to see something... I wouldn't mind seeing something different from him that isn't historical figures do something a little bit different, but this is all about depicting the capitalists who acquired wealth by ruthless means and the women who fought for their rights. So, pretty cool. I like it. I do recommend checking it out. Next up, the Vine Art Playing Cards, uh, inspired by Hindu mythology from Sinis Chaba. 23% funded, 14 days to go. I'm hoping to get a review on a prototype deck done soon, but I haven't received it yet. But uh, thanks again to Sinis for sending me that. Um, I hope it does get funded. They're beautiful cards. Very nice. I recommend checking them out. But at this rate, really slow to fund. Then we got Mean Clowns playing cards from Tico Garza, which I mentioned last week. 16% funded, 27 days to go. I think the funding on that one's going to be an uphill battle just because everyone seems to be down on clowns at the moment with all these people being terrorized by clowns everywhere. It's just ridiculous. Um, I don't know if it's a Halloween thing or what, but people need to grow up. Uh, then we got Skateboard Playing Cards from Kevin Yu. Funded, 20 hours to go. I like this one. It's a Kickstarter staff pick. I recommend checking it out. Then we got Hipsteria Playing Cards from Agitcom. 47% funded, 4 days to go. Not looking too good at this rate. Um, I mean, they've struggled for a, a couple of weeks now, a month, whatever it has been, to get 2000 bucks. They need to get another you know, 2500 3000 bucks in 4 days. Not looking good. Uh, then there's a star deck by Lunar Saloon. It's funded 11 days to go. I believe that one is USB-C printed. Um, moving on here, we got La Katrina. Dead decks from Duck Furret to be printed by Noir Arts. It's 80% funded, 6 hours to go. Not looking good at this rate. Um... What do they add here? They need just over a thousand dollars more, so it's definitely doable. But I don't know; it's going to be really close. I'm not sure it's going to happen. Then we got Kingdoms of Erden by Tim Olinger. It's 43% funded, 24 days to go. Still a possibility the album funds like it has in the past. Then we got Avant Garde, the 2017 United Cardist deck from the Edgy Brothers. It is. Uh, funded, 8 days to go, they have unlocked the green edition which features the Royal House court cards. Um, I believe the court cards on the other deck have also been used in a previous deck or maybe it was just a previous version of the Royal House or the Select, whatever it's called, I don't really remember. But I know they look familiar to me. Um, looks pretty nice to be produced by expert playing cards, I do like them. And again, I recommend checking them out. Very nice, kind of simple, almost tally hole type back designs. I do prefer the court cards on this one just a little bit, but the other one's just as nice as well. Here's a green one, different court cards. Then they had this. Ultra limited blue edition, they're 50 bucks each with a special numbered etched laser cut and every other kind of shit we can put on a tuck case in a carrot case. Just everything we can do on a tuck case, we'll put it on this tuck case and put it in a, in a carrot case. You guys, no one's ever going to open it. Uh, it's only 50 bucks, free shipping. <laughs> um, and then now there's a, a green one. The only difference in these is the tuck case. If you really want to pay 50 bucks for a different tuck case, 100 to get both of them, by all means. Or you can donate money to your favorite deck reviewer, that being me, and put it to better use. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> but anyways, um, it is what it is. And not really my cup of tea doing special limited edition tuck cases. It's just really digging into people's vaults. Uh, anyways, next up we got Emoticon Cards by Lift Emotion. It's 0% funded, 4 days to go. I think the chances of funding are not good. Right now, the creator has got the blue Emotion, or perhaps the red Emotion. <laughs> um, then we got uh, 
Ian Sulacing cards by Ian Fagan, the Professor Sulace. It's 20% funded, three hours to go. Barring a last minute major miracle, I don't think it's going to happen. Unfortunately, it just has a limited appeal despite the fact that he gets thousands or 10,000 hits on his website. <laughs> um, next up, Middle Kingdom Silver and Gold by Doug Fry. It's 77% funded, 8 days to go. I th looks like it might happen, but it's slow to get there. Oh my word, somebody invented a hat. So that you can drop stuff on it and play a game. Good lord. <laughs> um, moving along. There's a couple more to tell you about on here. It's just slow to get there. I apologize. Um, well, one more for sure. And that is this one right here. The Apothecary by Alexander Chin. Seasons Playing Cards. Very well funded. Seven days... 17 days to go and just like the seasons chains and the leaves change colors the, these decks actually change color too as you can see by that image there it's actually the tuck cases only that change color however however there's a possibility he will use this type of stock and finish in the future on an actual deck of cards very well funded um, you can see the green top case kind of changes to yellow and the other one also changes color These are just new versions of the seasons playing cards more or less. There is the Primavera and the Inverno Pondering purified Primavera ponderings illuminating Inverno insights <laughs> um, There you go. You see right here in this image changing well color sort of There's also gilded versions very nice Peruse the curiosities or pursue the curiosity. I think that's a spelling mistake But um, as you can see beautiful artwork very nice. I love it. I love that style of court guards um, Pretty interesting tuck cases. And I do like the color change thing. Here we go. There we go. You see the color change right there Very cool very unique And and this one here changes as well color from like this pink to like a, I think a maroon type of thing um, so I'll go check it out there's also this nice cabin you can get and there's all sorts of cool stuff check that one out all right um, let's move on here so one thing I hate I gotta highlight and delete this whole thing for some stupid reason <laughs> I don't know why that is but it is all right Just bear with me a second. I'm throwing a few things on here. Um, all right, Conjuring Arts, as I mentioned last week, has a couple new decks available. They also have a whole bunch of new Erdnase Bibles. Look at this. They got three different colors now in Erdnase Bibles. Orange tan, black blue, and there's also a another one, a red one or something like that. Oh yes, right here, chestnut brown. How many different colors can you combine in one? <laughs> and why do we need recolors of the Urdnays? It's just a ridiculous cast grab in my opinion. But anyways, moving along, we got these superior skull and bone back decks designed by Jackson Robinson. There's a standard one for $9.99, and there is a limited edition Phantom Edition for 30 bucks, only 850 being produced. Comes in a nice slipcase and also for the first time ever spot UV and foil on the backs of the cards. It's a game changer apparently. <laughs> um, pretty cool though, and it's nice to see you know a, something a little bit different with skull and bones as opposed to the same old, same old. Uh, of course, there's also a card clip you can get if you're interested. Uh, for card experiment. Get 10% off. Moving along. They got a couple of new decks available for pre-order, which I've mentioned in the past, but they're now available. That is the 
black gold Asura and Dream decks right there. Indiegogo, there's one deck to tell you about on here, which I mentioned, but we'll have a look-see at how it's doing. <laughs> if I can find it, come on. Yeah. Okay, apparently this did not work out. <laughs> mm. There it is, it's the Vigor playing cards. It's now 42% funded somehow, 20 days to go. It's actually gotten some funding. Probably hopes that it's a hit with cardists. Um, there it is, about $3,000 out of a $7,000 goal. 20 days to go, it may or may not make there. Apparently it's in the prototype stage. It is created by Alvin Herp and designed by Edo Hung. You know, it's not bad, I guess. Um, the faces could be better if they actually had, I don't know, faces on them. <laughs> Instead of faceless court cards. It just seems like, you know, they could have put a little more effort into it. And why did these court cards have square heads? <laughs> I mean, really? Could they not put in a little more effort? And Is it that hard to make a circle? <laughs> um, I mean... I, I'm guessing the square is a little bit easier to draw it in a circle. The jokers are just a V. Very simple. It could definitely be better. And they're actually going to be produced by Bomber playing cards. Which is basically expert playing cards, legends, whatever you want to call it. Made in Taiwan. I mean, they're not bad, but not really my cup of tea. And then we got, I wanted to mention this one. A Jasper's deck from New Deck Order, NewDeckOrder.com, the NewDeckOrder.com. Um, it's a pretty cool, colorful deck, as you can see. Unfortunately, they have sold out on their website. Only 816 were printed, each one individually numbered, never to be reproduced. Printed by uh, in Taiwan, obviously. Like I said, they've sold out. Which is unfortunate. However, I did find them on Card Volusion. What is this? All orders placed from the 1st of, to 4th of November will be processed on November 5th. They're not even available. <laughs> that makes zero sense. Unless they're going to be releasing more. Um, but whatever. I'm getting it from Card Volusion. I'm not even sure what the price was here. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's move on. Illusionist has its new Aurelian deck now available or is previously released early or pre released to different shops. I, I got it from Hocus Pocus. Um, very nice, tally hole inspired, no doubt. The back design definitely looks like it's a tally hole. And <laughs> really, apparently it's frozen, but it's very nice. There you go. It definitely looks like it's Tally Ho inspired. And fairly standard but customized recolored court cards. Somewhat customized. Little details in the middle. And there's actually a reveal on that one. Um, beautiful spade pip. Ace of spades, I should say. The Jokers definitely look like they're Tally Ho inspired. So if it says, I really had instead of Tally Ho. Um, very cool. I like them, and I definitely recommend checking that one out. It's like the nicest deck Illusionist has done in, well, some time, I think. Well, then again, the Keeper wasn't bad. Next up, from Bomb Magic, we got the Keat Moon Special Edition deck. It basically looks like a new embossed special tuck case 
with the same cards as before as you can see if you want to know more I do have a review on my channel of the original but to me it looks like it's the same thing it's just a different tuck case not really floating my boat <laughs> um, we got a couple more things to discuss by the way last week I mentioned the those new decks from Usai only the light version is still available the dark one is sold out this is one I wanted to mention here it is the liturgy playing cards from half moon playing cards which looks like low tech is going to be sending me one at least one there are 25 bucks each there's a green and a red version very nice um, there's definitely some special features in there like a metallic stock and and whatnot but there's no information on here in regards to that but that's okay we'll find out on the floor and tell you about this one as well what's this it's a few more things just bear with me so here's the liturgy very cool Nice artwork, nice tuck case. Apparently, this is he's doing this now as opposed to doing the oath playing cards, which he had, you know, kind of mentioned uh, a few months ago. Because apparently, it was now or never. There was this last amount of stock left, so uh, he decided to just do it, get it done with. It's available, like I said, on his website, halfmoonplayingcards.com. Where is that information I'm looking for? There's also, there's only 600 available, 300 of each color, 25 bucks each. There's internal printing in the tuck case, and it's discreetly signed by Lotrek uh, in the inside on the bottom flap, I believe it is. <laughs> it's funny, it says it will not feature missing or duplicate cards. It's kind of funny. Um, available for pre-order for, I believe, three days right now. I don't know, I can't find any more information. <laughs> Next up, we got Dystopia playing cards from Joker and Thief. Very nice. It's coming tomorrow, Halloween, at, I believe, 6 Eastern, 5 Central time. There's a times. Yes, 6 Eastern, 5 Central, 3 Pacific. 9 a.m. in Sydney, Australia, uh, etc., etc. 10 p.m. in London. Very nice. Um, I'm definitely going to check that one out. Look at that beautiful back design. Pretty cool. Then we got, uh, I wanted to mention this one just quickly. Domina La Masia. Playing cards. Um, here you see, I guess that's one of the jokers. It's just a silhouette of a face. Here's the back design. It's an NLC with a parcel red stripe through the middle. One way back design pretty horrible in my opinion and kind of lackluster um i believe it was designed by max of max playing cards obviously made for cardists and floristers and card jugglers <laughs> 20 euros each ouch <laughs> i mean it's like a two dollar deck they customized the court cards just a little bit it's it's just it's not worth 20 euros to me in my opinion it's just a it's a little bit flashy but it's not that flashy or exciting there's other decks i think that are better for cardists it's also sold out apparently on this website which is theminalamazia.com dot com i should say <laughs> yeah. um oh what's this there's another version i had here baraza dlm Arza. Don't know who designed that one. It's just a logo on 
a back design with pips with massive, massive borders. I don't even know who has produced these, like what the quality is or anything like that. But I'm not interested anyway. Next up, a couple of decks to tell you about on Art of Play. From Art of Play. First of all, we got this one, the Ed playing cards, Ed by Ellen, or designed for Ed by Ellen, which is Ellen DeGeneres, in case you're wondering what Ellen. Um, the back design is this poorly colored, it looks like it's hand colored, checkerboard pattern, and it says Ed on it for some reason, as if it wasn't a bad enough one-way back design as it is, so decided to put Ed on it. Um, Printed by USB-C, apparently there's a craft paper tuck case with black foil and embossed accents. I don't believe they saw us that though. This is the problem I have though, is the faces. You know, the, the pips and everything is okay, but the index is pretty much, well, essentially non-existent. You cannot have a playable deck of cards with no pip. In the index you can't just put a letter there because you hold that in your hands to play a card game you're not going to be able to tell what you have it's a black ace or a black queen or whatever but which one is it or a red one or it, it's it's stupid i don't know why they would produce this why somebody wouldn't go um it's not usable here's the court cards pretty simple interesting kind of painted texture on them as well and then we got this which I guess is just like an ad card actually that yeah I think it's just an ad card it says poker on there and is it a word search type thing I don't know I don't see any other words aside from poker <laughs> 10 bucks I don't think it's worth that much <laughs> next up they got some more beautiful decks though. Um, and actually, Art of Play sent out an email yesterday advertising six new products. The Ed deck was not one of them. They didn't bother to advertise that one because it's but ugly, as far as I'm concerned, and not usable. This one is nice though, it's the Lost Wax playing cards. It's by by 15th century Africa. And Printed by USB-C, designed by Oli Todd Abadori. <laughs> I butchered that name completely. A vibrant color palette. Here's the back design I we were looking at before. It looks like a snake skin type thing. Very cool. Simple, but nice. Uh, nice Ace of Spades. X Africa Semper. Alikid Novi. <laughs> and then the, the court cards. Very nice. African inspired. I don't have any decks that are like this, so I'm definitely interested in this one and I recommend checking it out. Uh, there's some information there as well. That's pretty cool. Next up we got another Memento Mori deck. For some reason they spelled it Momento instead of Memento. Uh, which translates to Remember You Shall Die. Okay, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> um, designed by Michael Matiko of Combe Combo Creative. Um, very nice, interesting bat design. Um, the weird thing is that this is like the third Memento Mori deck now because there was one that was put out um, through Murphy's Magic earlier this year. There was another one that was on Kickstarter from Roman Kotif, and now we got this one. <laughs> like they couldn't come up with a different name, you know? <laughs> but um, all confusing aside, it's interesting, it does not have traditional suits, they've been replaced by stars, swords, flies, and feathers, which are symbols of order, aspiration, chaos, and scavenging. Which is pretty interesting, although it makes it less usable, but I do like the artwork, it's got nice beautiful bold red faces, interesting um, font for the letters, as you can see. That actually looks more like a, well, Actually, at first I thought it looked like a scarab beetle, but now I see that it is a fly. <laughs> I guess that's the 
spade pip. You can kind of see it's got a spade pip look to it. That's the ace of spades. Here is a frog <laughs> that's been killed, murdered. At a joker, kind of simple but nice. Here is uh, one of the feathers. And then we got the stars, which actually look like pentacles as well, to be fair. Um, pretty interesting. Black suits have black coloring, the red suits have white coloring, I guess. Here is the swords. I like it, I think it's pretty cool, and I recommend checking it out. And uh, here's the tuck case, by the way. Some more images. Beautiful, as you can see. With that eye in it and everything. That's pretty awesome. That is that. Um, that's it for what's going on this week. And that I can recall. Coming to my channel this week. All sorts of reviews, including... Nine Lives Playing Cards. A Pagan Otherworlds Tarot Deck. The Emerald Blades Blood Spear MMD deck. There is also the Ninja Cardistry Ninjas, I should say, and um, what was the other one? Oh yes, the Halloween playing cards coming tomorrow because it's Halloween. So that's that. That's what's going on. I'll see you next time with more. Hopefully, I can get this video uploaded with no issues since I actually got it recorded with no issues. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.